Okay, people, here's the situation. We have the, uh, well, firstly, the trike is up on stands. We have the shock absorbers, or hydraulic dampers, sort of tacked in place. So on the bottom there, we've just got normal flanges tacked at each side. And on the top, we have a 10 mil bolt serving as a pin. And at the end here, we've got two nuts jammed together one of them is tack welded to a plate, which is serving as sort of reinforcing because this is only 16th wall. Now, obviously if we just welded that out there and there, this pin would bend immediately. So what we need is a support. And in order to get a hold on the pin but still be able to remove it, what I've done is I've taken two stop colors, cut a groove top and bottom and welded them together. So that's gonna serve as our sort of um, ooh, I've loosened that, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, that's gonna serve as our sort of um, something or other, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, so we need to get a plate from there up to there, and to that end, I have made this cardboard template, which goes from here up to there. Uh, and we will cut out according steel pieces. This works for both sides. We'll cut out steel pieces. This is 3 16 by 2 inch flat bar. It's just mild steel. And we'll get those on here. Now, we might brace in another direction as well. We'll get a piece of square tube going from here down to the uh, sort of pl uh, perimeter frame and then get a corresponding plate going there. But for now, let's get these working. Now, you will notice that there is a floor jack supporting the front axle, and that is because the nature of this suspension setup causes the front beam axle to be slightly canted when it's completely unloaded. So I've just pushed one side up with the floor jack so that it's level, and we can get our shock absorbers on there, um, sort of all straight level and that sort of thing. Right, we've uh, got our plates, they, they're all dressed and de-mill scaled where we're going to weld them. And I'll uh, just show you how we're going to fit them up. Like that. And then we'll have some weld along the two stop collars, and of course, along there. Right, we've got it held in there with uh, an angle magnet thingamajigger. Let's uh, get it tacked in.
So, now that we've got these in place, you can see there are two tacks there, two tacks there, and the same on the underside. We now have to consider the second set of supporting plates, which will go from here to there, like that. But obviously, currently, there's nothing there, so we need to install some pieces of square tube, a bit like that and then we can run the plates between the stop collars and the square tube. You observe that we have the second support plate tack welded in place. There is this beam which runs down to the sort of perimeter frame there. Uh, and this is also, of course, tack welded to the pair of stop collars. The uh, nut has been, I'm sure as you can see better from this side, has been thoroughly welded to the uh, sort of frame rail thing here. And the same has been on the other side, but uh, the slight problem I had was that I could not take a bar all the way down from here to the perimeter frame because there's all this junk in the way. So I cut it and put an upright piece there. Now I know this looks a little bit cockeyed, and indeed it is, but it should be strong enough at any rate, even if it's not particularly pretty. Uh, and of course we have the plate there. So the next step is to weld those completely out. Well, having taken a short test drive, I would say that, by and large, the hydraulic dampers are doing their jobs. You can see that we have the uh, things all welded in there, and of course the stop collars are welded up, and all the, you know, backsides and whatnots are welded. Um, anyways, the trike, well, I don't know if the word planted is perhaps the most natural word to describe a machine such as this, but I think we're edging in that direction. It's uh, much, it, it does not get unsettled by small bumps to the same extent that it did before these fellows were installed. Um, the big bumps, it doesn't really do any better and may even be a little bit twitchier because effectively the suspension has been stiffened, but on the whole, I would say these are an improvement. And definitely the, the sort of resting ride quality is an improvement. It isn't just, it isn't quite as bumpy and jouncy and harsh.